Well, let's begin there, guys. Brian the Three Topics Gaming here to bring you another episode of my weekly Q&A show titled with questions or answer uh, majority of the questions that have been sent to me. Now, last week I tried a little bit of an experiment uh, unfort uh, in which I at would ask people to send in their questions either in the comments down below or send to me on Twitter just to see what would happen. And in terms of the Twitter questions, that was a complete failure. Not a single person was able to actually do it. So I ended up answering basically a lot of questions in the comment section, which wasn't a bad thing because there was a lot of questions that, you know, would have been comment section questions anyway. However, there were two individuals that at least confessed to me that they didn't have Twitter. So... You know, that tells me that, you know, I'm, I'm guessing if they had Twitter, they would have sent it to me through it. And so I'm going to thank those two individuals for the questions that we have here, because otherwise we would not have an episode. So starting off with the first question coming from Merciless Forerunner. And you want to know, if I were in the Halo universe, would I want to, would I, wait, would you or would you rather not be a Spartan and why? Hell no, I wouldn't want to be a Spartan. Um, I don't really know much about Halo, but just from what I've heard from someone who is a fan, like, the process of being a Spartan, Spartan seems to suck. I mean, first, they, like, this lady kidnaps you, and then puts you through this rigorous training that sucks, and then they inject you with this stuff in your body, and I, like, I think he told me it's supposed to kill off, like, 70% of the candidates, and then from those 70 candidates, even if you survive that you get put in this suit, that like could literally kill you just from wearing it. And so when I think of it, I was like, really? You gotta go through all that before you even get put on an assignment? And then when you're put on an assignment, you don't even know what the hell you're doing. I mean, you got I mean, you fly around the galaxy, you're fighting all kinds of threats that are trying to kill you. I mean, and you got leaders that basically, you know, don't like you already because you know, they just don't like you. I mean, Master Chief, I don't know much about his backstory, but he, he must have a really, really shitty life. So, being a Spartan during that time just does not seem like a very, very fun idea. I think it would suck to be a Spartan. So, no, no thanks. I mean, whether it's the Covenant or the Flood or whatever is coming, um, I would prefer just find a quiet planet in a galaxy that's, you know, out of the way and just live a quiet, peaceful life there. I mean, as long as I'm not living in a populated area, I don't think those you know, I don't think those factions would have any interest in me. So, no, I would not want to be Spartan. And the last question in the episode comes from this individual. And he wants to know, what is the worst physical pain that I've ever had, if I can remember it? Uh, yeah, I can remember this. Um, happened over five or six years ago when I was living at the other house. Um... I don't remember exactly what I was doing at the time, but for some reason I decided that uh, to try to lose weight, I would like stop eating. And I was taking these pills that a doctor prescribed to me. I don't remember what they were, but like literally for three days, like all I was eat, it might've been three or four days. I was like drinking a lot of water, taking these pills and not eating anything. And then I think, when I did start, start eating something, I think like after an hour, I started suffering these massive stomach pains. Like it was, it, it, it was unimaginable. I had a hard time breathing. I couldn't move. And I think that was like the first, like my sister like immediately called my dad and she was saying like, Brian's in all this pain. It's like, he's not moving. And I think that was like the first time I had ever heard him say, you know, call the paramedics. I, ironically, I said, don't do that. Let's just sit down. And then when he came home, he just basically told me to walk it off. Like, he literally, like, helped me downstairs. And he says, Brian, walk around the cold sack. I was like, what the hell? Like, dude, I'm suffering all these stomach cramps. He's like, what the hell is walking around? He says, just start walking around the cold sack. What ended up happening is that when you eat, you know, it, it, you, know you know, when you eat, you release acid. And when you don't eat for a period of time, basically your stomach has to readjust. It's like, it's, 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 it's the same thing as if a vegan who's been eating just non-meat for a long period of time suddenly eats meat, your stomach has to kind of adjust to that. So that's basically what was happening. I just didn't know it could happen that quickly. 
but as far as I can call, that's like the most amount of pain that I can recall ever happening at any one time. I mean, I've had, you know, I've, I've you know, I've crashed my bike. Um, I had to go to the doctor have a surgery done, but I'm not going to talk about that. It wasn't it was it wasn't like a serious surgery. It was just something dumb I did as a kid. Uh, I think as a kid, I remember wearing my dad's shoes and falling down a flight of uh, stairs. Like if you guys live in an apartment complex, you know how like the, the those stairs have like the, that stone set of stairs. Like I was a kid and I, I literally rolled down. I don't know how that didn't kill me back then because I was like five or six. Um, but yeah, I would probably say the, the stomach pains was probably the worst pain that I can remember experiencing at any one time. And that'll do it for this particular episode. I want to thank the two individuals for at least letting me know that you tried. That, that that really means a lot to me. Even though the experiment was a complete failure, I really do appreciate that you let me know that you actually did try and give an effort. So I appreciate that. So if you have any questions you'd like me to answer in the next week's episode, be sure to type them in the comments down below. But make sure you get them in through roughly around Wednesday around noon before I start filming the next episode. And also, make sure it's only one question per person, and if you want to increase your chances of having them added into the next video, instead of just being answered in the comments down below, make sure they have some in-depth, because I like questions in which I can kind of talk about them extensively. I think those make for much better questions. So with that said, I'd like to thank the two of you for making this episode possible. You're all awesome for watching, and I will see you next time.